สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Today is Monday, January 10th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. A 47-year-old man is now behind bars in Phuket town on suspicion of shooting dead two people and injuring three others at a fresh market in Phuket town. Maninop Mitong is accused of fatally shooting two people when he opened fire at the market following a heated dispute with another vendor on Friday. Three others caught up in the incident were hospitalized. Police say Maninop fled Phuket for Hat Yai before officers in Songkla Province arrested him on Saturday afternoon, thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. Police say he confessed to the crime and admitted that he had ongoing arguments with fellow vendors in the shrimp trading business. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket officials confirmed just over 1,900 cases over the last three days. With 537 total cases on Friday, 635 on Saturday, and 742 total cases on Sunday, the most the island has recorded in a single day since the pandemic began. Just over 30% of all cases from the past three days are tourists, while about 69% are all local infections, according to Phuket health officials. So far during January, Phuket has recorded 3,241 total cases. For a daily average of 360, no new deaths have been recorded over the entire month of January. Phuket has seen more cases in the first nine days of January than in all of December and in all of November, and we've already seen about half as many cases as we saw all of September. While cases on the island rise, so too are cases nationwide. After more than 8,500 cases were reported for Saturday, this morning. Officials confirmed 7,731 new cases for Thailand over the last 24 hours, with 13 more COVID-related fatalities. Phuket officials say that because of the rising amount of cases on the island, there are still concerns that Phuket won't have enough hospital beds to cope. At a special meeting at the new Phuket Provincial Hall on Sunday, the Phuket governor made the policy clear to organize treatment at home in hotel accommodations. Or in quote community isolation centers in order to support hospitals in the treatment of both yellow and red patients, which are characterized by the symptoms on your screen, with red cases being the most serious. The top health official on the island, Dr. Kusak Kukiatikun, said he expects the infection rate to continue to increase significantly on the island, and said that Omicron has been found to be 66% of the infections of tourist arrivals. Despite all this, the mortality rate has decreased, with no COVID deaths reported on the island since December 21st. Of note, the PPHO daily COVID report for Sunday marked that out of the 2,525 hospital beds on the island, 60% are occupied. The government is still urging people to work from home wherever possible. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. From local health news to national health news, as reports indicate that nearly 39 million patient records from Siri Raj Hospital were hacked and found on sale on an online forum. According to reports, records from 38.9 million patients from Siri Raj Hospital and Siri Raj Pia Maharaj Karun Hospital, including those of purported VIP patients, were found offered on sale on RaidForums.com. Some of the data comprises names, addresses, phone numbers, and other sensitive information. Authorities are not sure if this person, named Wraith Max, actually did have the massive trove of data, though they did post a sample file and had a contact. Through Telegram app, the post mentioned that the price was negotiable and would only go to one buyer. This is the latest in a series of hacks on the Thai hospital system. Back in October, data from 100,000 patients from 11 Thai hospitals were also offered on the same forum, as well as the month before in September, when records from 10,000 patients from the state-run Pechabun Hospital were stolen. 
Even a year before, in September 2020, a hacker demanded Sadaburi Hospital pay 63 million baht in Bitcoin in exchange for access to their patients' medical records and the hospital's telephone lines to go back on. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Sandbox tourists traveling to Phuket, including those coming to stay in Pengna province and Krabi province, are not allowed to transit through Bangkok, an official announcement issued by the Royal Thai Embassy in Berlin has revealed. According to officials, the Thailand Pass registration for all of the sandbox area of Thailand begins Tuesday, January 11th, including for the Phuket, Krabi, Pengya, Koh Tao, Koh Samui, and Koh Phangan sandboxes. However, those who will stay in Panya, Krabi, and Phuket must book direct flights from outside of Thailand to Phuket and not transit through Bangkok. However, for the three other islands in Suratani province, travelers can transit through Bangkok and connect to specific domestic flights, PG-5125, PG-151, or PG-5171 only by having single tickets for Europe to Bangkok to Samui with one single booking issued by the airline only, according to the notice. Travelers entering Thailand under any sandbox scheme must be fully vaccinated, test negative for COVID within 72 hours prior to travel, have health insurance covering at least 50,000 US dollars, and book a room at an SHA Extra Plus hotel for at least seven nights. Travelers don't have to sequester themselves inside the hotel room for seven days, but they must stay in the specific sandbox area until the due date to be able to travel to other areas of Thailand, provided that they test negative for COVID. A project to replenish and boost the abundance of marine life in Phuket's coastal waters continues as 2 million black tiger prawns were released into the sea while 250 trees were planted in the waters off Naka Island over the weekend. The whole thing took place at Banyamu Pier in Paklok on Saturday morning, following a ceremony presided over by the Phuket governor along with officials from the fisheries office. Officials say it's part of a bigger project in which they hope to release 34 million farmed tiger prawns into 17 coastal fishing communities in and around Phuket. The project also includes an education drive for fishermen in these 17 local communities to help teach them conservation and sustainability management best practices of aquatic animal resources along with sustainable fishing methods to reduce travel and fuel costs. Thanks for joining us on this Monday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.